He was originally diagnosed in September of 2015 with uh, stage 4 high-risk neuroblastoma. We did an 18-month treatment process which consisted of chemo, radiation, stem cell transplant, um, stem cell harvest, and surgery after everything. And then after that, he went into remission for six months. After remission, he relapsed again. We started off at the hospital. We were going through one of his treatments. A uh, The child life specialist at Lori's Hospital, her name is Sarah and Jessica, the very nice ladies, uh, they approached me, wanted to know uh, I'd be interested in doing something for the Chicago White Sox. I said, of course. He had no clue what was happening today. As far as he knew today, it was just a normal day, and that was it. What's been your favorite part so far? Catching the ball. Not the hot tub? It means the world. I mean, they're a great team. I mean, just to see people that have never met him before and just take him and show so much hospitality and gratitude, it's unbelievable. Of course, he's going through treatment plans and medications and everything else. I mean, but he doesn't let it hold him back. He runs, I mean, even at the hospital with IVs. He, we were constantly yelling at him, you can't run, you can't run, you got to walk, you got to walk as he's pulling his IV pull along. Who wanted Mario Kart? I'm sure it's going to be a memorable day for him for years to come. I mean, he still remembers the time we won two years ago, and he still talks about it. So for him to actually be here and up close and interacting with the players now, I mean, it's going to be something for him to remember for a lifetime. Who's your favorite White Sox player? Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> right here, man.